Only this Sunday, Easter Sunday, this morning. Anybody want to come and share? Silence on Easter Sunday. Nobody's going to come and share. Lee's going to come up. Good, Lee. You've got to start us off. Good way to be the leader. Well, I guess quick story. While I didn't recognize his frustration in the work environment that I was helping create here, uh, I did let my frustration known when we were playing cards on, uh, on Friday night when, when he made a bonehead move. But <laughs> No, uh, I was just uh, listening to a story of... Um, Christ, you know, in the in the garden before they came in and took him away, and how he was sitting there praying, and uh, praying so hard that he was sweating drops of blood. And I just got to think, it's like you know, some of us we try so hard to get where we want to be, but that just shows to me that you know Christ did all the work. He labored for mm -hmm. us. He put forth all the effort, and I'm just so grateful for that. That there's nothing that I can do to get there. Nothing aside from him. And that's all that I need. And I just I just thank him for, for doing that. Thanks, Lee. Anybody else want to come and share this morning? Holy Spirit getting a hold of your heart. Wanting you to come and share. Grandpa Allen's coming. He's up. He's up and rolling. <laughs> this truly is a great celebration week for me. 30 years ago, I was nearly killed in a construction accident. I was given 10% chance to live, and that was it. Um, even when they moved me from the uh, ICU down to the main floor, they really didn't expect me to live because I was having so many complications and stuff. But you know why I was in there? I was bargaining with the Lord. Little did I know, because I was not a Christian then, that I had no bargaining power with him. I could pray to him and ask for his will be done. And, you know, the Lord gave me 30 years. And he will continue to give me all those years that he wants me to have until it's time to take me home. And so I praise him for that. I thank him that uh, he did see fit that I that my work is not complete on this earth yet. And so I praise him this week for 30 years. It's hard to believe. And, uh, you know, for me to stand in front of you today, uh, and if you had seen me those days that I was very ill and sick, uh, it would it's a big difference. So I praise the Lord and thank him. Thank you, Grandpa Alan. We appreciate that. He's not my grandpa, but uh, uh, Lee and Shannon always have referred to him as Grandpa Alan, so he's just Grandpa Alan. So, um, anybody else want to come forward this morning and share? Elaine. Elaine's coming. She's my support. <laughs> thank you. Um, I love Jesus Christ. I thank him for living here amongst the people, living a life of a regular human being, but being God also, and, um, and saving me. I, I read something this morning that said, I wonder what Easter's like in heaven. And I thought, you know what? Easter is our day. This is the day he rose. But what did he do when he rose? He went to hell and paid for my sins. Thank you, Father.
we appreciate Elaine's heart and that she was willing to share. Um, anybody else want to come and share this morning? The Lord is good, and you can uh, evaluate a little bit. We're going to look at some things this morning <clears throat> in our message, but what Elaine said is is true that Jesus Christ died, was buried in the tomb, his body, but you have to understand his soul and his spirit went to hell for a time so that you wouldn't have to go there, so that you could believe in him and accept him and be in heaven with him. No greater love than man to lay down his life for his friends. And he did just that. We thank him. Thank him for it. Oh. Wonderful. Um, any, give you one more opportunity if anybody wants to come. Okay, Brother Kurt. Come. Um.